Jasvinder Sangera is a social activist who was once a victim of a possible forced marriage. Her story led her to change the lives of many people who are facing a similar situation. Jasvinder Sangera was born in Derby, England in September 1965. Her parents emigrated from Punjab, India. She was one of seven sisters and also had a brother. Jasvinder was promised to marry a man at the age of eight, but wasn't told until the age of 14. Her sisters were all victims of forced marriage, but she was the only one who spoke against it. Her family was upset with her because she wasn't willing to keep their promise to this family back in India. It was a matter of honor and pride for them. They gave her two options. She could either marry this man or she should be dead in their eyes. Jasvinda ran away from home at the time thinking that it was the only way to escape this marriage. Her parents put in no effort to look for her and simply cut her off, leaving a young Jasvinda to face the real world on her own. While running away, at the age of 16, Jasvinder had some support as her secret boyfriend at the time ran away with her. They both struggled at first and often slept in parks or hostels. Jasvinder had no friends to lean on because they never really saw her suffering. At some point, the police tracked her down and made her contact her mother. All Jasvinder got in return were the harsh words of her mother saying that she was dishonored, shamed, and a prostitute. After going through such trauma early on in her life, Jasvinder decided that she needed to step up and make a change. She founded Karma Nirvana in 1993, which is a charity that has safe houses set up for South Asian men and women who flee home because of forced marriages. Jasvinder's idea of Karma Nirvana came upon her after finding out her older sister had committed suicide. She had set herself on fire because of the terrible life she had to live. At this moment, Jasvinder knew something had to be done. She was not going to allow other women to go through the hell that her sisters had to face because of their marriage. She set herself on fire, Rabina did, and she died. It's more honorable to do that than to dishonor your family by leaving your husband. For me, that was a big turning point in my life. My experience and Rabina's experience, I channeled that energy into Karm Nirvana. Good afternoon, Karma Nirvana. Karma Nirvana is now a national charity. We are an organisation that supports victims of forced marriages and honour crimes. Have you made any plans to, to go to Pakistan? Have you bought tickets or anything like that? The caller was calling on behalf of his sister, um, who he supported. She was um, a victim of, a, well, it was an arranged marriage. The man was a little bit older than her. She's experienced a lot of abuse from him. He has threatened to kill her. She was a victim of an acid attack. Currently, we are receiving in the region of 600 calls a month. Last year, we supported 6,500 people on the helpline. The following clip will show you an example of one of the many women this charity has supported. Charity is now a national charity and it goes on to support victims like Shafilia Armin. This young girl was born in Britain. This young girl's crime in life was to have ambition. Her ambition was to be a lawyer. She wanted to be a normal adolescent. All those things you take for granted every single day are the kind of things we can be significantly harmed for. This young girl ran away from home many times. She went to five organizations, police, health, teachers, you name them, they were there. And she was telling them, this is happening to me. My family are abusing me because they think I'm too westernized. And if you don't protect me, they will take me abroad and they will force me into a marriage. Shafili was very clear and she ran away from home several times and she was constantly talked into going back home. Because it's cultural, isn't it? It's what we do. Jasvinder has received much attention throughout the years for her work, both negative and positive. She received death threats in various forms by the South Asian community. They failed to understand the motives behind her actions because all they cared about was how she went against her parents' will. Forced marriages weren't openly talked about, so Jasvinder worked hard to create awareness around it. In order to make this possible, she wrote a heartfelt book about her life called Shame. This book allowed readers to have an insight on the way Jasvinder was really feeling. She continued expressing herself through her writing as she wrote another book called Daughters of Shame. This book shares the stories and experiences of other women who went through these awful things. 
Jasvinder's efforts were recognized by many respected officials. She became the ambassador for peace by the Women's Federation of Peace. Also, she was awarded the Pride of Britain Award in 2009 and was also the UK's representative for the Because I'm a Girl Foundation. Jasvinder works closely with the media to ensure that people are well educated on this serious issue. One of her inspiring missions involved a trip to Delhi with the team from BBC. The purpose of this trip was to help prepare a documentary on suspected domestic violence. The Forced Marriage Act of 2007 sparked the attention of the public. This civil protection law ensures that forced marriage is a criminal offense and won't be tolerated. Jasvinder Sangura continues to change the lives of both men and women to this day. She selflessly devotes her time and effort towards her charity to prevent forced marriages and honor-based abuse. Her strong will to change the norm in our society continues to empower her even more for the coming future.